In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up website hosting. So let's get started. Now, I want to begin this tutorial by explaining that there are many different hosting providers online. And what you'll find with lots of hosting providers, they all offer a very similar service. What they don't tell you is all of the things that you don't find out until after you've purchased. So let me just quickly explain. Obviously we've deal with over 65,000 different clients worldwide. So we deal with hosting um, situations and issues on a daily basis. And there are some hosting providers, such as Bluehost, HostGator, SitePoint, etc. Some of the bigger hosting providers that install lots of hidden plugins and options that cause all sorts of problems when installing a website. So what we try to recommend our clients do is purchase providers that we've tried and tested. Now on our website, we have two recommended providers. We have HostUpon and GreenGeeks. And both these uh, hosting providers are hosting providers we've been working with for years. We know their service works. We know the customer support is excellent. And this is why we recommend them. Now HostUpon is probably one of the most uh, commonly used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to set up a hosting account using HostUpon and then get your uh, premium press theme installed and set up. Okay, so HostUpon offer a really great deal with the pricing because not only do you get the um, low monthly cost on the actual hosting plans, you also get a free domain name when you buy any of their packages. So normally when you create a website, you need a domain name and a hosting account. And with HostUpon, you get both included within your purchase, which is brilliant. Now, the difference between these plans really are the amount of space and the actual server speed that you get. So for a standard plan, which is this one here at 295, you can set up uh, one website and you get um, a standard performance hosting plan. For a business plan, which is a little bit more expensive per month, you get um, unlimited websites and you get a slightly um, better hosting server. So basically the speed of your website will be improved. And obviously on the premium plan, they're gonna stick you on a really good server, probably a newer server, and you're gonna have a lot more speed. It really just depends on the future of your website. So if you can imagine if you're setting up a shop website, for example, and you don't get a lot of traffic, then a starter plan would probably be great. If you're gonna be setting up a directory or a dating or something with a lot of traffic, then you're gonna need a bigger plan. Now, for me personally, I would always recommend the uh, middle plan simply because you can downgrade or upgrade accordingly. So let's go ahead and create a new account with the business plan. Now, the first thing you'll notice right at the top, it gives us the option to select a domain name. And as I mentioned a moment ago, this is a great thing about HostUpon is that you get a free domain name when you buy any of their hosting. So we would go ahead and create a new domain name. So let's just do testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just simply for a test and just check the ability. So obviously the, the uh, internet is full of websites, as you can imagine, lots of different domain names are already taken. So do spend some time and try to find a domain name that's gonna work for your business. Now, once you've selected your domain name, or if you already have a domain name, simply select the I plan to use my existing name, and then obviously enter your domain name here. Again, check all your billing information, etc. Now, I've left this page on because I want to show you something else at the bottom. For most of business websites these days, an SSL certificate is a necessary thing. So if you're going to set up a website, we do recommend you use an SSL certificate. And that's required by lots of social media websites and any integration with things like Google, Facebook, Twitter, etc. So you are going to need a SSL certificate. So if you're just setting up, I would recommend you add the SSL. Obviously you can add it later on if you just want to get things set up first, but it is recommended that you get an SSL certificate at some point. Obviously at the bottom here, we have a coupon option. So if you have a coupon code, you can enter that. You should also note that if you do use the link, the affiliate link that we provide on our website under WordPress hosting, you will automatically be applied a the latest coupon and probably one of the better coupons uh, for this hosting provider. So try to use the affiliate link if possible, use the option here, or if you have your own, by all means, enter it here. Obviously go ahead, confirm your order details and then complete the order at the bottom. Okay, so now we've made the payment, we've gone through, and what we've done now is we've got an email from a host upon with all our login details. Now, another great thing about host upon is that the setup process is very quick. So after payment, you'll get an email within 10 minutes um, with all of the login details um, so you can get started right away. Now, let me take you through the welcome email so you get an idea of what you need. In front of me, we have obviously the test domain that we've purchased, which is the uh, testing123. 
If we scroll down slightly, we have a little bit more information. We have a temporary website URL, and this is um, an IP address and a link to your um, website that's currently set up, which will be ready to go right now, that's temporary because we've obviously got a new domain that's being registered. Now, if you've registered a new domain, it can usually take up to 24 hours for the domain to point to this URL. So what we're gonna do is use the temporary website URL. I'm just gonna click on this and open in a new tab. Now, this is gonna load our website. So this is what our website will look like right after purchasing it from HostUpon. As you can see, it's basically a landing page from HostUpon to say that there is an awesome website coming soon. So what we need to do now is actually install WordPress and install a premium press theme onto this website so we can begin showing off our new website to our friends and family. So again, if we just quickly pop back to the email, I'm just gonna show you how to go ahead and begin that. We have another link in the email called temporary control panel. And this is the same information as we have at the top called C panel. And we call C panel control panel, it doesn't really matter. The link is the same. And you'll find at the end of the link is what we call C panel. And that's basically a short URL that will take you to the admin or the C panel interface. So we're gonna to get to do the same thing again. This time we're gonna right click again, open a new tab, and we're just gonna open this C panel page. Here we go, this is the C panel. So this is the admin area of your website. This isn't the admin area of host upon, this is the admin area of your own website. So this is the hosting interface for your website. So again, we've got the login details at the top. So the C panel username and C panel password. So I'm just gonna copy this. Okay, I'm gonna put enter it in here. And the same with the password. I'm just gonna copy this and enter in there. Okay, so we go, login in. So again, this is the interface for your um, your hosting account. This is the admin area of your hosting account. And there are lots of options here and most of these you'll never ever use. Now as a new user, if you're not familiar with any of this, I'm just gonna quickly explain it to you. This is the front end of the website. Again, if we just show you the email, we have two links, website URL and control panel URL. Again, the website URL is the front end. This is what everybody sees. This is the general public. This is what they will see. And obviously the control panel is how you can manage the content that's visible to the general public. So the first thing we're gonna do is quickly show you how to install WordPress. So from this page, I'm gonna go all the way down and we see where we have this software. We have this software and it's one called WordPress managed by Hostapon. And if I scroll again a little bit more, we have this uh, other option here, which is app installer. Now, personally, I prefer to use this app installer. It just makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So I'm gonna show you that you click on WordPress. Now from this page, it's just gonna give you lots of setup instructions and I'm gonna take you through it very quickly. The first thing we do is click on install now. It's gonna tell you which version of WordPress. It's gonna tell you where to install. Now, this little section is quite important. If you've installed and set up uh, C, uh, SSL during your purchase of your domain name, you can go ahead and select the HTTPS, which basically means it's a secure website. If you haven't set up SSL, then you stick with the HTTP option. And obviously we have the choose a domain. This is the domain that's associated with the account, so we just leave it as is. We can scroll down. We can leave all these settings as they are. The admin account, again, we can change this. So we would set an admin username and admin password. So I'll just get password. So in this example, I'm using username and admin, password, password. Obviously I don't recommend that, but I'm just doing this for a demonstration purposes. The email address will automatically give you one, but again, you can enter your own email address if you like, and you can keep, keep scrolling down. Now, all of the rest of the options, I really don't recommend you, you bother with. There's nothing here that you need. Themes, etc. you don't need to worry about. All we're doing now is concentrating on getting WordPress installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. Okay, you should get this box here. And what it's telling you, there's already a file called index.php in your um, on your website. And this is this page here. It's basically saying it's found this page here. Do you want me to delete it? And obviously this is just a welcome page from host upon. So what we're gonna do is click select it. Yep. I want you to overwrite the file and then do the same thing again, install. So now it's gonna go ahead and remove this page and install the WordPress um, pages versions instead. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, the software has successfully been installed. So here we have the uh, URL of our website and we have an admin URL, which is a link to the admin area. So we're gonna go ahead and click the admin URL and go ahead and log into the admin area and start installing the premium press theme. 
So now we have the admin interface and the admin login screen for WordPress. So we enter the uh, username and password we entered during installation, which was admin password. And we can now log in. So as you can see now, this is the uh, admin interface for WordPress. There's quite a lot to get used to, I know, but I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and set up the premium press theme. So before we do anything else, let's go over to premiumpress.com and download the theme that we've purchased. So obviously you need to have a theme with premium press. We click on account. And obviously then we download the theme we're going to install. So let's download and install the directory theme. So we click on download now. And the theme will start downloading in the bottom of our browser in the bottom. So once that's finished downloading, we go back to the admin area of WordPress. We click on appearance. We click on add new. We click on upload theme and we select the theme we've just downloaded. Now, once you've selected a theme, we click on install now. Now you'll have three options, uh, live preview, activate, or go to themes. We click on activate to activate the theme. On the left hand side, you can see we, we have this installation option. You can now see in the actual directory theme is installed. So we click on installation. We enter our key, agree to the terms and click continue. And what will happen now is all of the default content to get started with the theme will be installed. So it's going to give you a welcome video. Obviously you can watch that later on if you want. We can just go ahead and get started. And now the premium press theme has been installed. Let's go ahead and preview our website to have a look. And as you can see now we have all of the designs that built into the theme for us to go ahead and select from. So basically what we would do now is select the design we want and we can go ahead and start customizing. And it's the same thing in the admin area. In the admin area, if we go back to the admin of dashboard of WordPress, you can see all of the options of premium press and under these two tabs here, premium press and listings. So we can click on premium press, design. We can click on new design. And now we can select the design we want to install for our website. So let's go ahead and install this one. Again, it's gonna take you straight to the homepage and we can see what our new website looks like. So instantly we have our website set up with awesome, awesome demo com content so that you can go ahead and start previewing it and customizing it to suit your needs.